And uh, please tell me if the sound is alright, if everything is alright, because we are going to start a new game. So, on the YouTube I did an egalitarian run, an hegemony run, economic dominance run, I did the learn the game run. We got all the achievements for these runs. And now we are going to do a new achievement run as the USA. There are two achievements you can get with the USA. And I will show them in the game. So first of all, this is the USA. We are sixth in the world. We have a very tiny army, but we have huge militia. We have 40 uh, flotillas over here. And yeah, we are going to uh, try two achievements. For one achievement, we need to conquer a lot of land. We need 100 incorporated states so that we get 100 stars on the United States of America flag. That's the first uh, achievement. And the second achievement is to go west. We have to uh, get 250,000 people in a couple of these states here. But that's for uh, later, of course. So I think that we are ready to go. Achievements are enabled. We have no Iron Man. We don't need to for this game. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into the game here. So, welcome to the United States. We are quickly colonizing the Great Sioux Nation, the Pawnee, the Absarokas, Arapajo, the Comanche, and we are also trying to get the Ute, Navajo, and the Apache. Um, compared to the last version, we cannot colonize the Nitsitapi and the uh, Iron Confederacy. That is because there are claims over here by the Hudson Bay Company. And as long as uh, the Hudson Bay Company is having a claim here and an interest here, we cannot colonize this. That is a difference between the, how the game was and how the game now is. So no more colonization over here, it is free. No more colonization of Hokkaido, which was also free in Sakhalin. No more free colonization of the Noongar and the Nagai Tahu. Because when a certain nation has claims there and they keep their interest point, you cannot do it anymore. So, and we see Ted here. Iron Man is no longer needed. Um, yes, Ted, only for Victoria 3. And uh, welcome to the stream. So yeah, what are the achievements that we are going for? Well, we are going for Go West, young man. Starting as the USA, own California, Oregon and Washington. With 250,000 or more population in each. Going to be super easy. Uh, it's a medium achievement and the hard achievement here is the Star Swarmed Banner which is also the title of this run. As the United States have 100 incorporated states represented on your flag. We just need to get uh, 100 states incorporated. That's what we are going for. Now as the, uh, the USA we start with the slavery debate. It's 1836. And we can get rid of this when we have slavery banned in the USA. And we need to hold this for 10 years. Then we will complete it. And we will fail if we will have a civil war against the southern planters. Um, and when they are in the government. So it doesn't matter. When there is a civil war, you fail this slavery debate. And you get a civil war. So we will try to uh, prevent it. And not get a civil war. That would be uh, amazing, of course. Uh, let's see. So we have a couple of things here in the outliner. I want always want my interest groups on the right here. So that I see who is loyal, who has the most power. So at the moment the southern planters are in power. And they are pro-slavery. We want to get rid of them at some point. We have the rural folk. Most of our peasants and our farmers are part of this, uh, this group. Mostly peasants by the way. And they are also uh, liking slave trade. So... Also, this group is not uh, something that I want to get uh, uh, big. Then we have the Intelligentsia. They are liberal. They are anti-slavery. But they are also a pacifist. So they don't like uh, a prof professional army. And they don't like uh, colonies. But we will keep them uh, influential. Hopefully. Because we want the anti-slavery parties in power. Uh, the church is also an abolitionist. So they also want to uh, abandon slavery. But that's mostly because the leader is an abolitionist. Uh, if the leader changes, then that could change, and we cannot use this to get rid of slavery. Uh, the industrialists don't really care, they are just moderate. And the petite bourgeoisie is also moderate, and the armed forces are a jingoist, so they like... They like conquering stuff, really. 
Who's in the who's in the government? So we have the southern planters and the rural folk. And I could reform it and get the armed forces in, and we get a little bit more legit legitimacy over here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we have the Whig party, the intelligentsia, and the evangelicals who are against slavery. Then we have the uh, Democratic Party, who are pro-slavery. And the Patriotic Party with the Armed Forces. So let's make a new cabinet over here. And uh, we should really try to get rid of their influence from uh, the rural folk and the southern planters. So there's some leader trait that gives some bonus. And the southern planters are having 25% uh, from the Missouri Compromise. They get 10% from local police force and legacy slavery. So if you are born in a slavery family, I think you'll also become a slave. That is how it works at the moment in the United States. I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. So what we could do is get rid of this 10% here and try to go from a local police force to a dedicated police force. Now, let's have a look at the laws over here. Uh, we can also go to National Guard instead of No Home Affairs. That would give us some more conscripts. Uh, where is the police force? So now we have a local police force which uh, empowers the Southern Planters. But if we go to Dedicated Police Force, they will lose their, uh, their 20%. So let's try to get this enacted. We have a decent chance. That way we can make... Uh, Southern Planters a bit uh, less powerful. Uh, what I also will do is uh, bolster my armed forces. And I will bolster the intelligentsia in my country. So that they are getting more clout. And with the rest of the authority we are going to use some uh, consumption taxes over here on services. I think that's going to be it. You're going to tax everything. Because why not? I think there is no reason to not do it actually. Just tax the hell out of your people. Uh, let's start building some construction sectors. As you can see, we don't have that much uh, labor in the United States. People need to migrate over here. Oh yeah, and for technology, I wanted to do something over here. Uh, we do have the Texan status, statehood. Relations between Texas and the United States of America is greater than 20. And when they are at peace, and we have over 20, then Texas will decide whether to accept the U.S. statehood. So we can get Texas um, for free if we can increase our relations. So let's give that a try. The downside is that they are at war with Mexico. The start of the game. And what is this war about? Return of Mexican Texas. And they want to return Texas. Okay. So, Texas is trying to get this state back, and Mexico is trying to annex all of Texas. I don't think I can jump in this war. I don't think I can do anything to stop them from taking it. Uh, we can start colonizing over here. Let's also start colonizing that state, so we are colonizing everything over here. Uh, we cannot enact more interests, and I think that's fine for now. Okay, that is all done. What do we have here as well? These are all generic, generic. Well, of course we have this one. The first transcontinental railway. You need to own Nebraska and California. Okay. Well, that should not be too hard. And we have the Oregon border dispute. Oh, really? for later as well and do we have any decisions we have to negotiate the Alaska purchase with Russia we need to own Washington now we don't own Washington yet so it's for later as well and we have the manifest destiny uh, we need to research nationalism and we need an interest in the Pacific coast when we have this we get uh, Mexican secession to the journal and frontier wars to our journal we get 24 infamy, but we get claims all over the place, so that is uh, going to give us our infamy uh, downgrade. Because when we have a claim, you get less infamy, so we really want to uh, do these things over here. 
So let, let's start with nationalism so we unlock it. There we go. Takes three years to, uh, to research. Alright, that is all done. Uh, what are we going to do with our influence? Maybe we should just improve with the great powers here. France, Great Britain. I don't care about Prussia and Austria really. What is the other great power? Russia? Yeah. Oh, we can't talk to Russia. Can I talk to Spain? Let's talk to Spain. Uh, Netherlands? Uh, RedPD87, thanks for your follow in Zarlan as well. Thank you so much. Now let's take a look at our buildings. We have 10 food industries. Some textile mills. We can do craftsman sewing, but we have no silk, so we cannot make luxury clothes. I could do this thing, I think. And make luxury furniture. Let's do a little bit of luxury furniture. I think if I do the other one, I don't have enough inputs. I could make uh, explosives. But explosives are only used... Oh, actually we, we should be able to use explosives for the uh, munition factory. Yeah. Uh, I think we can build an extra munition factory. And start making explosives. And then we can build more troops. So that's also really nice to do. We can make military buildings. But then we lose clippers. At the moment we do need them. I don't think I'm going to make more ships right now. We have 40. That's decent. Uh, we can go to the standardized filing system for more bureaucracy. I think we should really do that. And the same counts for the universities. Go to the latest uh, production method. So we have a bit more innovation. Yes. We cannot change you. We cannot change you. Alright. And we want power of the purse, of course. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's uh, unpause the video. And see what happens. I wonder if uh, Texas can hold against Mexico. I, I, I don't think I can uh, jump into this war and save Texas from getting annexed against Mexico. I don't think I can. I will uh, stop this because we lost a little bit of influence. Most likely because we have some uh, things changing. And we'll first event over here. Worcester versus Georgia. President Andrew Jackson, who is a slaver from the rural folk. That is, that is our president right now. Has defied the ruling of the Supreme Court and ordered the removal of the Cherokee people in the Indian Territory. So they want to remove the, the Cherokee from this state here. Is that even legal? We get the Indian removal to the journal. That is this thing. It will complete if one of the following. The United States of America has enacted no colonial affairs. We are not going to do that. We are going to colonize the natives. Or Cherokee is not discriminated in the United States of America. We could maybe do that one. And go multiculturalism, but that is going to be really hard with the uh, rural folk and the southern planters in power. Uh, or we have no Cherokee Pops remaining. <laughs> we are going to kill them all. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's just really bad. Well, let's cancel that trade route. We have a couple of trade routes. We are exporting cloth. We are importing fabric. We are exporting. No, we are importing fabric, importing clothes. We are importing sugar. Importing luxury clothes. We are importing normal clothes. We are importing a lot of things. What is this? The French won a trade agreement. I guess we will accept it because we can get better relations with them. I think that's a really good idea. So Texas, are you holding out? Wait, is there no war? Oh. Okay. There's no war anymore. 
The Indian removal. In accordance with the removal treaty, it is time for the Cherokee of Georgia to relocate to the Indian territory. Many Cherokee people will die along the way, or we do this and some Cherokee people will die. Let's uh, spend some money and try to save as many Cherokee people as possible from Georgia, right? So, the, the oh, they're already gone, I think. Yeah, the 60,000 Cherokees are here in the Indian Territory. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we are building munition plants. I think that we, at the start of the game, we want to build a couple more barracks, really. Now, we cannot make that many. Because we don't have any professional army. Let's start with this. On these states here. Most of these states uh, in the middle are just empty. Well, there are two chemical plants there, but here we have uh, three lead mines. One lead mine. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bit of plantations over here. But the main area is New York, as you can see here. And Pennsylvania. Those are the two biggest states, I think, in our country. And I guess North and South Carolina are also decent. And Washington, our capital state, the District of Columbia, not having that much. What is this? We have an iron import shortage. Can we import some iron from the French? Let's start doing that. We don't have time to build everything ourselves. Yeah, we don't care about that. We are working on it and we don't have to do that anymore, apparently. Are we going to get dedicated police? No. But we can get 10% boost. So, yes, please. And we have 42%. And we have elections already. The 1936 campaign. So we want the Whig party in power, really. And not the democratic power. The free trade and the patriotic is also fine. We just want the Democratic Party to slow down. For whom the bell tolls. Our Prime Minister, our President, has an extra mid-campaign robbing the Democratic Party of a cornerstone politician. We can kill our... <laughs> we can kill our President. <laughs> He's 69 years old, nice. Um, we can kill him. Oh, he's gonna die anyway. Okay, we can get a new character. Or we do the same and we get 10 momentum to the Democratic Party. Uh, absolutely not. So we will do this and we have a new president. Patrick Z Z Z Zedjvik. How do you pronounce that? He's part of the rural folk. But he is a moderate, so he doesn't like slave trade anymore. So it's getting easier to get rid of the slaves. Uh, yeah, we will also trade with Great Britain, I think. I need to stop bolstering someone. Because I don't have the authority for it. The O City of Plenty thing here. I always pick that one. And the abolitionist... Martyrdom. M Martyrdom. I don't know. Henry Clay will change ideology to an abolitionist. Are you my prime minister? Ooh, we can make the intelligentsia a abolitionist. That is actually really good. Or Cornelius van der Bilt will become a slaver. Okay, then we have to do this one. So, most of our interest groups are now against slave, slave trade and slaves. Only the southern planters are now uh, for it. But I think we are getting there to uh, actually change it. And get rid of slaves. That would be really nice, right? Start of the game. Now, I think we can go to speed 5 because there is nothing else happening. I can build a couple more construction sectors. Yeah, let's build uh, one in each of these states. Uh, we should do that first, by the way. 
There we go. The Clay Proviso. Henry Clay, the leader of the Intelligentsia, who is now an abolitionist. Yeah. Has proposed outright prohibiting slavery in all our new Western territories. We can reject this. We can accept this. Accept and abolish slavery in the West. Boom. No. I think Texas will survive, so maybe we can get Texas um, when we get 20 opinion. That would be really nice. Now the election is going to happen and we might get the dedicated police force here. So let's have a look at the elections. Ooh. We have a really big problem by getting a very legitimate government. But if I put all of these in... Then I have more chance to get to get rid of slavery. So I think we're going to put this all these uh, parties in. But then the armed forces are out of here. And that could mean that we don't have any... Yeah, we need to wait for this. Hopefully we get it with 39%. Yeah, there we go. And now we have the dedicated police force. We can change the, uh, the cabinet here to this one. Boom. If I ban slavery, we have three, no, we have two of the uh, three parties in our cabinet that are for and one that is against. It will radicalize the southern planters. Maybe we can do this. Need to see if they are going to be very angry. Uh, path to liberalism. You can become a radical. Trade unions. We don't care about the trade unions. Red Clay becomes a reformer. You're now a traditionalist and you can become a reformer. That is actually a good idea. There we go. And then, yeah, this, this is the problem. We cannot get rid of slavery because they have 147 radicalism. So we will get a civil war. So we cannot do this. Not yet. We need to remove the power from these southern planters. What else can I do? I can get rid of my commanders. That's it, really. I can remove you. And I can remove you. And maybe... I can make some armed forces and intelligentsia people. Yeah, there we go. You're an alcoholic. Direct is actually not bad. You will go and, uh, go and uh, lead an army. Why do I have a naval commander over here? I don't know. That's weird. Are you here as well? You're not listed over here. Uh, we have another Intelligentsia naval commander. I think I'm going to get you. And then I will get two small armies with the armed forces, I guess. Let's put you in. And let's put you in. That also helps to uh, lower their their cloud. It's me or them. Archibald Clay, leader of the rural, rural folk, has enough of compromising with his coalition partners and has demanded that either his collaborators follow his orders. What a ridiculous thing to say. What is this? The caning? What, is, what does that mean? Of Henry Clay. That is our leader from the intelligentsia, right? Yes, an outspoken abolitionist has been beaten with a cane by John Colhoun, the leader of the planters. No, just someone, a slave owner. Clay's injuries compel him to convalesce and retire from public office, while Calhoun still currently walks free. Whoa. Arrest him. The leader of the intelligentsia has died. Who is my next one? Oh, look who's there, guys. Abraham Lincoln. Leader of the intelligentsia. Who is an experienced political operator. And he's an abolitionist. We want him to become president. 
And we are still trying to get rid of the Cherokee. Yeah. Uh, what I also can do at the start is incorporate states. Now, there are a couple of things that you... Why this is good and why this is bad. It's good because we can colonize quicker when we have more people incorporated. And we tax the people over here. The downside is there is almost nothing over here in these states. So we don't get that much taxes. The downside is if I incorporate this, people will not move to these new colonies that quick anymore. But I still think it's better to incorporate it for the taxes and the colonization speed. And when I want my achievement, I will not incorporate the, the, the three or four states that I need to get my achievement. Oh, hello always. Uh, thanks for your quick hello in the stream. We just started the game. Um, we have a paper import shortage. Do we still have shortages? Yeah, only paper. So let's make sure we have enough paper. Uh, where do we build paper? Well, in Ohio we have a lot of room. So let's build five paper mills there. Go. Is there any other law I can change? Uh, <laughs> we can become monarchy as the United States. <laughs> Uh, culture exclusion would be nice, but we can't because we have slavery. Elected bureaucrats is fine. We can't go professional army. We can go guaranteed liberties. That sounds very American. Uh, that is still fine. We have the dedicated police force now. We have public schools, which is really nice. We have no health system. We could get a charity hospitals. We don't want migration controls. We can do proper tied women and get more workforce. I think that is something that we want because we don't have that many people. Let's go for it. Okay, the southern planters lost a lot of cloud. Maybe we can soon uh, do the thing. We want to get more education. And I guess I will also increase my law enforcement over here. I almost maxed out our relations with France. There we go. And we get an alliance with you. No. Well, we don't have enough points to ask for it right now. Um, let's maybe improve with... I don't know. Maybe the Netherlands a little bit here. Dutchy slavery. I would have thought better of you. We are trying to get rid of it always. We are trying to get rid of the slavery. But you can see that uh, it's going to be really hard. But we have a chance now, to be honest. So I will keep uh, keep going for it. Yeah, I have to try harder. Discord within the industrialist. Don't forget to join my Discord, by the way. An influential faction with, within the industrialists have grown frustrated with their co-members. Neutrality on the topic of propertied women. Oh, it's about the propertied women. Uh, we will go for it. Oh, we can do this one and get the intelligentsia more powerful. Don't worry, it took the Union States a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, paper is expensive, wood, tools, and iron. We could work on these. Let's just get our own iron up and running, really. Uh, we have no infrastructure in New York, and we don't have railways yet, I think. So, we should do it somewhere else. Uh, let's get five mines in Pennsylvania. And I guess in Kentucky. Instead of getting... Uh, oh, what we, really, what we really need to build in Kentucky is... Uh, food industries. Oh, we already have it. So that we can make uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? We cannot live without Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
There's no way. Guess when the last time was I played Victoria Free? Always. <laughs> I think the <laughs> when the game released. <laughs> Capitalists are also investing in an iron mine, so... I was close, oh. <laughs> They're almost having 20 relations with uh, Texas, so they can then choose if they want to become part of our country. But first we have propertied women, so we have more workforce, which is going to help. Can I go and get rid of slavery now? The only one that don't like this are the southern planters, but they are really going down in their uh, cloud. So I think we can do it. And there is our um, our event, the Texan statehood. Texas has won its independence from Mexico and now seeks statehood within the United States of America. Welcome. Annex. Texas is now ours. There is absolutely nothing over here. There are 60,000 Dixie people. Well, 41 Dixies. And that's it, really. Wow. Now, I can do something else with Mexico. Do you see this button over here? I mean, the game wants you to, to conquer states, really. But I can puppet Mexico right now. And I think I will. Should, should I do it Twitch yet? Should I just puppet Mexico? <laughs> it's so easy. I mean, I have built my troops up. They don't have that many troops. They have only 10 and 17. Here. We will get 80 infamy. And we have a chance that Great Britain and France and Spain and the two Sicilies are going to join us. But we uh, kept our relations with most of these. They are genial to us. We are trading with them. I think we can go for it. Okay, we have one big front with them, apparently. So we can just put all our troops over here. Do I have any spare troops? I have two in Dixie. Well, you can join this army now, if you want. Alright, let's invade Mexico. He's a reformer, he's a good guy. He likes cultural exclusion, he likes primary school and uh, he likes women. <laughs> can make him more popular or we get more influence. No, you can you can be you can be popular for now. That's that's no big deal. Uh, let us improve with France again. They are only at twelve. And let us increase the budget for our military. And let's hope... Uh-oh. France. Don't do it. France. Don't. Uh-oh. Great Britain is fighting... For Mexico. <laughs> oh no. How is this going to end? The peasants in Tennessee will move to Oklahoma. Many Cherokee people will die or some will die. Let's make some die and not everyone. France, do you not want to join? Great Britain is going against us. You don't like Great Britain, do you? Well, I wonder how we are going to deal with this. I don't know if uh, Great Britain can send their troops over here, but uh, just in case, we are going to do some conscripts. Not everything, because my economy can't handle it. And I also think I'm going to stop building things. Well, no, let's keep building what we need to build, like some tooling workshops. Uh, let's build five in Ohio. Okay, see you always. Thanks for hopping in. Ooh, we can get 15% slavery banned. Very nice. 
Uh oh, Great Britain is sending their troops. No! Uh oh. Not good, guys. This is not good, guys. We need to win this. Please strike! We have nationalism, which means that we can do this when we have an interest in the Pacific coast. Okay, well, we will do that later. Um, is there any technology that I need right now? Well, Quinnen would be nice for colonization speed. Then we need pharmaceuticals. I can also go... Uh, oh, we do have railways. I can actually make railways. We should do that as well. Any military tech that is very important. But we do have the general stop already, which is fantastic. Let's get the field works. I really hope that we can strike before they arrive, and we did. So we are at least going to get some sort of ticking war score, I think. Which is at least something. The good news is that, is that uh, Great Britain is not having any war goals. So if we lose the war, we don't lose anything. As long as we kill Mexico. Because they want to liberate Louisiana. We really need to try to uh, prevent this. Okay, that is a really nice first strike. Can I go and get their capital? Okay, we have another good war battle over here. We have 36 versus 48. We have way more troops at the start. It's looking good here. But now they have arrived, the British. So now we will have more problems by taking down Mexico. But I still think we're going to make it. Well, yeah, what do you expect with 77 infamy? How much land do we get? Okay. Now they are also attacking me. Maybe we should defend this. Let's see. What is the battle over here? Ooh, we are defending. Okay. Good. We can defend this. Classic great powers. Yes, Sarlin. To war! So, we have to go to war right now. Okay, I am holding the line here. And their war support is already zero. And what is this about the slavery? Hey, we can get another 15%. We have 52% 50, chance to ba abandon slavery. Very, very nice. Now you can see our income, it's going down the drain. Which makes sense. Maybe we should pause our construction for a little bit. Okay, we are attacking them. And we are winning with a very low offensive stat. Why are my troops so bad? Oh, it's just their morale, I guess. Yeah, poor visibility. It will change on the 1st of September. No, it stayed as poor visibility. And they have good visibility. No! I think these units cannot go. Oh, shoot. We have to promote these, uh, these leaders. Because they cannot get all the conscripts. Now they can, right? Yeah, there we go. Oops, that was a mistake. Why is their morale bar, bar zero and why, the, why are they winning when they have zero morale? What is happening? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, they are sinking our convoys. England with their wooden wall. 
I could do a naval invasion on Mexico. But then I need to make a different army, I think. Uh, let's see. Maybe on New England. Okay, let's make a small army over here. And I will let you do a naval invasion. Over here. See if we can succeed that one. Okay, they are attacking me, so I will just defend. Ooh, they have some very good attack stats. They have an aggressive maneuver guy. And I don't have my armed forces happy, actually, so can we do something in our laws to... Yeah, well, we are doing the slavery one right now, so I cannot change it. But my armed forces are not happy for the bonus. I mean, we are holding out, so we just need to get uh, Mexico and then we win. Let's see if my naval invasion will uh, succeed. We don't have that much time left. <laughs> Hey, we did it. We just need to get to Mexico now. Come on! Okay, we win. We win the war and Mexico is going to be our puppet. Life among the lowly. We can get even more chance of enactment success. 63% chance to abandon slavery. Well, we won the war. We don't want to attack anymore, really. We all die sooner or later. We are gonna play with dice. <laughs> I like that event so much. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Mexico is blue. What a beautiful sight.